Six. Um, section six is all about labor and delivery process. It has uh, three different stages. Um, I guess you are familiar with that again, because like we watch that a lot uh, in different movies. Also, um, all of us had probably we all had a family member who literally experienced that procedure and they told us the story. For me, it was my mom uh, when I was like, I guess, 12 or 14 years old. Uh, yeah, it was 12 actually. My mom had another baby, my brother. So um, I didn't see the whole procedure, but uh, she actually told me a lot. So I'm kind of familiar uh, with what's going on. But yeah, it has uh, three different stages. Stage number one gonna be contraction. Uh, the cervix, um, dilates to 10 centimeter because the baby needs to just come out right mm -hmm. so it has to dilate uh stage number two gonna be pushing it demands a lot of efforts from what i heard but uh the ending is good um it just ends with baby stage number three which most of us might forget about them it is uh delivery of placenta and afterbirth because there, there are some stuff inside mom that should just come out as well so it has different stages here is a video it just for those of you who um, have no idea about what's going on uh, with this process this is a video that actually can give you some ideas um watch that it is important as well uh but yeah let's talk about birth and society um so nowadays we don't have like any crazy situation uh with like labor and uh birth but like previously like uh back then it was just so hard for mom to survive or even for the baby uh the maternal mortality rates uh were just very high it was just most of the time it was just 50 50. uh for those of you who are a big fan of game of thrones and house of the dragon which i'm one of them um there was a bear scene uh it was about uh comparing like the queen giving birth to the baby and uh, like uh, some sort of uh battle um and like it was just so dramatic and the 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 very um uh, the way they were just showing the whole situation it was very interesting it was like literally showing that how women they are just suffering and just uh taking a lot of pain to just deliver a baby and it might be actually comparable to literally fighting uh in a like battlefield or just somewhere but like nowadays, especially in Western society, um, everything is just better. Uh, the, uh, the mortality rate is just lower than like before. However, in just some uh, rural setting and uh, with limited access to uh, healthcare, still it is just uh, quite a job. Like still uh, women are, are suffering and um, like they might die because of just giving birth. Another problem for Western society might be over medicalization. For example, sometimes because of the pain, mom, they are taking a lot of uh, medicine, which might be bad for baby and hinder the natural process of giving birth. Um, we're gonna talk about that more, but yeah, like over uh, medicalization is not good as well. There are some ways uh, for reducing pain, for example, midwives and uh, birthing center. They're going to provide some alternative uh, to traditional medical model. Um, nowadays, there are some moms, they prefer to just have baby at home or um, just having some techniques for just uh, being cozy, getting cozy in their house and just have baby. Uh, they would hire doula or uh, birthing coaches that can help them that can navigate them the ability of how to breathe and just uh do certain position it's just very important to just uh, give birth in a better condition and with less pain there are some relaxation techniques uh like i guess there are some lamaza class um those who are really familiar with that i wish you were just 
sitting in front of me. Um, you had some firsthand experience that I'm all hearing. I really want to hear them. But since you are not here, I might uh, post the question in our discussion number two, so we can basically discuss them. But yeah, if, if you are interested in that kind of uh, question, just let me know, email me, we can just talk about them, or we can just add a question in our discussion, just talk about them. But yeah, some techniques gonna be Lamaza, another one uh, can be Bradley technique, which is coach childbirth, and it can just uh, navigate uh, moms through natural breathing and uh, helping them uh, just during the delivery process. Um, over medicalization, we already talked about that, uh, but like having epidurals, um, it can help moms to just have, uh, let's say, less pain or maybe zero pain because basically they cannot uh, feel anything, but they can just give birth. Um, so far, we didn't have like a specific research that show us um, it can impact uh, baby's health negatively. Um, but it's still, it is not really good to have a lot of drugs uh, during that period. It might impact later uh, in life. Either it can impact mom or it can impact baby. 